Daily Forex. This is Chris taking a look at the indices in the United States. This is the E-mini S&P 500 futures contract. You can see that we did rally a bit during the day, bouncing from the 50-day EMA. But, uh, you know, we're in an uptrend, admittedly. But it to me, it looks like we're trying to make a series of lower highs. So I think we've probably got a little bit more negativity ahead of us. And that, and that makes sense. With the coronavirus and all that going on. Um, PMI numbers were good, though. Um, so that, of course, was bullish for the uh, U.S. stock markets. And that may be part of what caused the, the reaction. The 50-day EMA, of course, attracts a lot of attention as well. You can see we stopped right there on Friday. 3,200 should offer support. I think 3,150 is where this starts to get interesting. Now, if we break 3,300, then you have to assume that we continue going higher. But at this point... I think we're likely to see a pullback. Same thing over here in the NASDAQ 100, but I will say this. The NASDAQ 100 does look like it's at least trying to break out. So if this breaks out at 92.50, the real play might not even be here. It might be buying the S&P 500 in a catch-up trade. If we break down through this uptrend line, the 50-day EMA and the 87.50-ish area will be uh, looked at with scrutiny. I still have a target of 10,000 in the NAS 100, but, you know... That could be months down the road. So I, I do recognize that there's going to be the occasional pullback.